Hi everyone, we are studying ground improvement techniques for 6th semester civil engineering. We are studying the 5th module of ground improvement techniques that is compaction. In this module we have already covered what is compaction, what are the different factors affecting compaction, moisture density relationship, compaction curve, shallow compaction and the various techniques employed for shallow compaction, deep compaction, the various technologies used for deep compaction and compaction control testers. Now we are studying the last portion of fifth module that is the properties of compacted soil or the effect of compaction on the properties of soil. Hoping that you have understood all the other portions in the previous sessions. So today our topic of discussion is properties of compacted soil. Properties of compacted cohesive soil. In case of cohesive soils, the optimum moisture content increases and the maximum dry density decreases with the increase in plasticity of soil. And in case of cohesionless soil, that is frictional soil, the maximum dry density is connected to the grain size distribution parameters. Properties of compacted soil. Compaction has its effects on the following properties of soil. First one is soil structure. Second one permeability third one swelling, fourth one pore water pressure, fifth one shrinkage, sixth one compressibility, seventh one stress strain relationship, eighth one shear strength. So compaction has its effects on these following properties of the soil. Compaction may affect the soil structure, permeability of soil, swelling of soil, shrinkage of soil, pore water pressure of soil, compressibility of soil, stress strain relationship of soil and shear strength of soil. The shear strength of molded water content and shear strength after saturation. These are the two varieties of shear strength which are affecting as a result of compaction. This is a figure showing compaction curve. Here we can see that the moisture content is plotted along the x axis and dry density along the y axis. Uh, the moisture content corresponding to maximum dry density is known as the optimum moisture content. And uh, here is the line which representing 100% saturation that is zero air voids line or the saturation curve. So, first one, effect of compaction on soil structure. Soils compacted at water content less than optimum water content have usually flocculated structure. And the soils compacted at water content more than the optimum water content have dispersed structure. So, the soils which are compacting at a water content less than the optimum moisture content possess flocculated structure whereas the soils compacted at water content more than the optimum moisture content have a dispersed structure. Next is the effect of compaction on permeability of the soil. Permeability of soil depends upon the void size. As the water content increases the orientation of particles get improved and results in reduction of void size and permeability. At water content above the optimum moisture content, the permeability increases slightly. As the compactive effort increases, the permeability decreases due to increase in dry density. So, as the water content increases, the permeability increases 
As the compacty effort increases, the permeability decreases due to the increase in dry density. Next is the effect of compaction on swelling of soil. The compaction of soil reduces void space and thereby decreases swelling. So as a result of compaction, the soil particles get densified and which results in the reduction in void space which in turn decreases the swelling of soil. Compacted soil shows greater swell at dry of optimum than at wet site because of random orientation and deficiency of water. Next is the effect of compaction on pore water pressure. Pore water pressure is defined as the pressure of the ground water held within the soil. That is, the groundwater held in voids or pores between the soil particles. The pore water pressure for soil compacted dry of optimum is less than for the same soil compacted at wet of optimum. Next is the effect of compaction on shrinkage of soil. Soils compacted wet to optimum shrink more because the soil particles in dispersed structure can pack more efficiently. Soils compacted dry of optimum shrink less when compared to compacted wet of optimum. Next is the effect of compaction on compressibility of soil. As a result of compaction, there is a reduction in the volume of air and soil gets densified. The soils compacted dry of optimum are less compressible. The flocculated structure on the dry side of optimum offers greater resistance to compression than the dispersed structure on wet side. So the effect of compaction on stress strain relationship. The soil compacted by dry of optimum will have steeper stress strain curve than on wet side. Soil compacted dry of optimum shows brittle failure. Soils compacted on wet side experiences increased strain. The strength and modulus of elasticity of soil on dry side of optimum will be high. Here we can see the relationship between stress and strain. Here for the dry side, uh, there is an edge of uh, failure is brittle and it has steeper slope. So the modulus of elasticity is higher in, in the case of dry side. And in case of wet side, the failure is plastic type. So the modulus of elasticity is less in case of wet of optimum. So the plot is in between the axial strain and the deviator stress. Next is the effect of compaction on shear strength of soil. For the compacted soils, dry of optimum have a higher shear strength than wet of optimum at lower strains. At large strains, the flocculated structure of soil is broken and ultimate strength will be equal for dry and wet sites. So hoping that you have understood the effect of compaction on the various properties of soil such as soil structure, uh, permeability, pore water pressure, shrinkage, swelling, shear strength, stress strain relationship, compressibility etc. Now I have given you two assignment questions. In the first question, it is that compare the effects of compaction on permeability and compressibility of soils. So you have to explain the effects of compaction on permeability and compressibility of soil, not less than 100 words. Second question is that given a, an account on effect of compaction on shear strength of moulded water content and shear strength after saturation. Compare these two uh, 
criteria for shear strength and give a brief no, uh, account on it about more than not more than 10 sentences if possible with a figure you can uh, explain it so complete the assignment question and mail me the document as soon as possible hoping that you have understood the fifth module so now uh, by this topic we have winding the fifth module hoping that you have understood all the portions i have covered earlier if you have any doubts you can call me or you can mail me okay thank you stay safe